Okay, so let's see what how uh, Evo Champion himself deals with the chilling. Uh, he ate way too much cheese. Yeah. A yellow side beat. K Pan. We don't talk about K Pan, man. No, I don't want to talk about K Pan side. All right, so let's see what uh, Chillin does against Puff. So then again, right off right the bat, we see that Hungry Box takes all the stage. So look at this. Jump, whole stage. So he takes the stage first. Let's see what he does with it. Chillin just jumps over. Let's see. I'm starting to like appreciate watching all these videos. The slow mo's giving me more of an appreciation for Hungry Box's back air spacing. There's a lot of mix ups. Uh, back air, and then he just does these lazy back airs. But I like his mix of back airs. So look at he's so he's trying to work his way in for a grab. So he comes in, he doesn't even back air. He doesn't even back air that time. Um, but he's trying to get a grab set up. But then Chillin just grabs him. So nice by Chillin. So Chillin's just Chillin's plan seems very key from the jump. It's just to dash dance, um, make Hungry Box come to him. So he's not he's not gonna extend it all. So hungry this is so this is a good example of from the from the look of this first stock, hungry box is gonna have to make plays. Because Chillin's not really gonna engage him. Um you can just tell he's looking he's fully committed to dash dancing and just oh never mind, he commits there. I think he should stay away though. I don't think he should actually try to fight him that much. See, I think I think he should stay more in this style. Just to dash dancing. Give up stage control if you have to, escape the platforms. Um I think he should really limit the interactions here. And make hungry box make all the offensive plays. Yeah, I think this is better. Cause Puff actually doesn't is not good at approaching at all. So Chillin takes the first stock. So good work. So just gets good mileage off his initial stock, and then is able to make the best of it. Um, okay, so let's see. You see, I think that's I think he should really stay away from fighting for, with hiding hungry box. He just he just. He's not the best in the scrap scrapping, so I think here he should just kind of keep his distance. I think he should really limit the interactions, especially at low percent. So like these things like that, I don't think just don't think that should be his game plan. All right, so, so let's see what happens. So get to right back. So I really liked how he played his first stop. Like let's, let's, let's just go back to his first stop. I just like these initial interactions. How he gets like his first fifty percent, I think I really like it. I kinda wanna see more of it. Shine. Look at this there's just not a like this dash dance, dash dance, dash dance, dash dance, tight dash dance, comes in, moves to the other side of the stage. Like I, I really like this game plan. I hope this is what we see more throughout the set. This this dash dancing, gets a grab, and just move away. You know, so I hope I see more shit like that. Just not a lot of committal stuff. Really make Hungry Box make all the offensive plays. Um and, and don't give him a lot to work with. Yeah. So just dash dance, run away. Yeah, don't I don't think Mm-hmm. So yeah, exactly. Like make this is like I wanna see, right? I just wanna see I wanna see I want if I'm chilling, this is what I wanna see. If I'm chilling as coach, I'm telling him make make Hungry Box make the plays. Um make Hungry Box lead. Um because this is like a bad this is bad. Right, he's not gonna get any mileage off it. But this is just what I want to see. I want to see make make hungry box, make him make all the plays. Roll, all right. So, yeah, so I like it. Mm -hmm. See, there you go. Ooh, rolls in. That's not. That's not. I think. I don't think chilling. I think staying ahead is really important for chilling. So it's not what I want. So I'm so I'm chilling's coach. His controller is fucking up. All right, so let's see. Oh, tries to get it. Laser, 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 laser. Let's see. So, I th see, I I'd want Chillin to have the same pace he's having now, but with the lead that forces Hungry Box to come forward eventually. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's see. Because look how hard it is for Hungrybox to actually initiate anything. Um, 
it's one of those things that like a lot of foxes are, are really like trying to find their way in, but it's not easy for Hungry Box to create offense. Um, he's not he can't just run in there. He actually needs like it's hard he has to find a way to build percent. It's not easy. he can't just rush down Fox. Um, he doesn't just doesn't have the moves for it. Uh -huh. That was cute. Perfect ledge dash from Shillin, showing all his showing that tech skill off. Uh, yeah. Comes down with the nair. Uh, oh yeah, back here. All right. So I like the pace. This is even though, even though he's losing, I would definitely be if I'm if I'm coaching Shillin, I'm fine with this. This is like what I want. He's down big though. And so I think I don't think he I don't think I'll see any we'll see any comebacks. Um but look at this look it's just not easy for Puff to create that much. Now that's a lot of but look like that forward air works because of just like how much damage Chillin's at. You know, otherwise it's just a straight hit. But he's built up the damage, so not a good edge guard by Honey Buck. Usually don't say that, and then he gets that one. So clean lead. I don't think Chillin has the firepower to really make a huge comeback, especially the way he's playing. But it gets a nice thirty percent there. See, like, look at like, look at like, it's just, it's Hungry Box is literally just trying to create a zone, but there's no real like, there was no real threat to Chillin at any point. He was just trying to tr create a zone, but most foxes are looking for their way in. But like, he's not really creating anything. Okay, so that's what he's got to be afraid of, though. It's just, it's this grab range right here, because Hungry Box is a lot. Of, Hungry Box. And Music King are probably like the two in Armada are probably the three best players off the grab. So oh with a strong host. Oh, thank you. A business question? Just hit me on uh, DM me on Twitter. Alright, so let's see. Um, thanks for the host butters. Any, okay, so you can't miss these texts. Lucky for Hungry Box. So yeah, the Hungry Box so good off the grab. So you gotta you got it. So this is a range if I'm chilling, I'm really, really aware of. Cause this is where I, I, I he can do his most work. So I think he just done an up tilt. So we got grabbed, right? He just did an up tilt. So up tilt good, um, but has a lot of has a lot of up to has a lot, a decent amount of like um cooldown, so he gets grabbed, and that's what he's got to be afraid of. Good DI though, good DI, but still got to get that tech. Fair, and he dies. So look at like this is all off the grab. So look, so that was all of like think about the good stocks that Hungry Box has. I think they were both grabs. So Hungry Box is very, very good off the grab, like underratedly good. Um, let me just look at the camera. Look at chill face of the camera. Um, it's not really talked about, but he's actually really, really good off the grab. No one, not I don't know why it's not really brought up, but it's one of his best. It's probably one of his best attributes. It's the zoning, but just that he punishes really hard off it, off his grabs. All right, so good start for chilling. I like the first stock. I think if he follows that game plan, he gives us a chance. Don't, but don't you have more as well, Lady if you're playing off? You're saying, uh, say that again. So, but if you don't have more, if, but if you don't, you have more tools of your disposal if you're playing offensively. You're talking about puff, or you're talking about hungry box, or chilling. Uh, left is just a lot cleaner off the hit. I think left is a lot cleaner off the hit. Um, chilling can be a little bit choppy. Chilling's a little bit more exchange for exchange. Um, but left is definitely cleaner off the hit. I think that's a real thing. Just more polished in general. Just more polished. What's up, Johnny? How you doing, man? I I, I enjoyed the uh, the tournament. It was fun watching you and Nun play. But where's Ken and Green DJ? Oh yeah, it is liquid, huh? They're both liquid. Oh, it goes down in the DM. It goes down. All right, so let's see. So I'm. It's funny if I'm chilling. I don't even mind Dreamland. I don't even mind Dreamland. I don't mind Stadium. I just want something big because I don't really want to fight. Um, I I actually think Dreamland would actually be perfect for him. 
Because I literally feel like he should just camp his ass off and just make Hungrybox do all the work, not get grabbed, laser, and just play, like, pretty, pretty much make Hungrybox make every play. Like, make Hungrybox find his way in. The same way the Foxes play Hungrybox, how they always try to find a way to get past the back ears in that range, I think Chillin' should do kind of the same thing and just make Hungrybox do all the work. Because um, I just think he needs a big stage. I feel like he's probably going to go stadium. Oh, FD, okay. So this is all right. Um... Um, I actually think, I really actually feel like he just, yeah. So let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. We talked about this. You gotta be shine. So if you don't jump there, you can get a conversion, but he jumps after the shine. All right, so cool. So cool, 54%. So again, his good first stock. Remember I talked about this. Be confident. Oh, yeah, wait. I know I talk about this all the time, but be confident in your shines. Because when you jump there, you don't get a conversion. So if you don't, if you, if you just stay, if you have... Faith in it, just do it. If you're going to do the shine, do the shine. Because then it's easier to get a conversion off it. But anyways, runs up. Let's see what he goes here. He goes, Nair. Beats the Nair with an up tilt. Gets the bagger. So cool, 54%. So I like this. And he doesn't mind losing stage because he can just jump away. Oh. So last time he did a good job of getting past that. But this time, Hungry Box comes in. And that's one of Hungry Box's mix up, right? He back airs, back airs, back airs, and then just comes in with a grab. And he catches Chillin' Shielding. Ooh, Hungry Box is looking for him on the way down, but couldn't find anything. Back air, laser. So this is kind. Of, this is fine, but look at the like. Like if I'm chilling, this is like totally okay. Like look at, there's nothing's happening. Nothing's happening right now. Oh yeah, I think you're okay. Oh, smart by Hungry Box to not rest. Just reset the situation. I don't think chilling is particularly confident off the ledge. So if I'm chilling, I don't want to go here. This is like not my. I from playing chilling and watching his matches, I've only seen a couple good ledge dashes. So no reason to pin himself there. Um, they kind of want to stay off the ledge. Near the ledge is fine. Off the ledge for sure. So this isn't bad. 65%. You can probably build some mileage with some lasers. Um, laser, laser, laser. Laser, laser, laser. Let's see. Ooh, a smash. He might force his way out. Laser, 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 laser. Ooh, see, that's the thing. He just got to be. He's got to stay away from that. I think the one zone I wanted to stay away from is that, and now he's going to be down a stock. So I think honestly, I think this set is over. Or I just don't. He's just not. Do, he's not doing enough to really like. He needs. I think Chilin needs to play with a lead for sure. Again, I don't think I'd want to go to legend on him because he's not very good there. Takes twelve percent laser. Okay. So I. I really okay. Yeah. And now he's he's getting fucked. Okay. So now he's getting opened up. So this is just too much of a. Lead. He gets caught with that. Hungerbox has good pound mix-ups. He likes to break, like I said, he breaks rhythm with the back airs, and then he just extends there with the pound. So a lot of, you're, you're, you've been kind of conditioned to, to expect back air spacing, and then the pound reaches a little farther, and he gets caught. This would be a jab, reset, rest. So, and from here, it's probably over. He's just, it's just too much mileage, and Chillin doesn't have the firepower. So I actually feel like if Chillin had, had better game plan, um, this is completely doable, because Fox, you know, Fox is really good against Puff. Sorry, I kind of walked away because I just don't. This, this is probably just over. He just doesn't. He just doesn't have the. Uh, doesn't have the firepower. He's probably gonna get grabbed at some point. Yeah, pound. He rested. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, good. Good initial stocks. F O D N F D. But just not. Think it need. I think he needed a more focused game plan. Kind of focus more around his strengths. And I really think he should have made Hungrybox do all the leading, um, and just it made him play. Make made made Hungrybox make the plays. If he was good and, and do it that way um, and doesn't DI the pound good at all and he dies. All right, so that's the end.